Even without the distraction of European football, Liverpool go in for a root and branch shake-up, really, with 18-year-old Trent Alexander-Arnold being given his senior debut. There's also a home debut for London-born, former Arsenal youth product, Obi Ajaria, who came on in the last round, and a return for Kevin Stewart, who came through Spurs Academy before getting a dream move to his boyhood club here. After cutting a frustrated figure on the bench in the weekend win over West Brom, Daniel Sturridge is back in the first 11. Maurizio Pochettino also rings the changes, though Musa Sissoko's three-match ban for Saturday's incident with Harry Arter did prompt a rethink. George Kevin Nkudu makes a Tottenham starting lineup for the first time since he joined Spurs from Marseille. Otherwise, it's a similar team to the last round. Among the nine that also began that win over Gillingham, Cameron Carter-Vickers, the young American who caught his boss's eye pre-season. Eric Dyer is the only player on either team who was also on starting duty at the weekend. He captains the side tonight. The impressively rebuilt main stand here at Anfield. And it has some prominence, some plenty of confidence to get forward and to win it back as well. Almost steered it through to Sturridge. It's Stewart with a shot. Not bad, the youngster Alexander Arnold did really well. His first foray forward, you can see he's looking for a little bit of help. It bubbles up around. He's trying ever so hard to get something going there. That's good for him. Shot comes out, it's a, a difficult one for him. <laughs> he's delighted he took a shot at goal, isn't he? Isn't that refreshing? Headed away by Vimmer in front of Alexander Arnold. And with the slip, Liverpool given a chance here. Gurch looking for the opening. Deflected across to Sturridge, who finishes it off. And Liverpool get the perfect start. It was a slip that helped to set them up, and they take full advantage. Yeah, it looks like Nkudo. It's a slip at the wrong time. Didn't seem to be much pressure on him. We've seen a couple of those slips in games lately. And City don't want to be reminded, of course, of the amount of times it's happened to them. No pressure here at all. Takes good control on them falls over but there's a lot of work to be done here I'm not so sure he was picking out Sturridge there by any chance but the reality is the ball made its way across and Sturridge is bright he's on the move at the back stick in case something like that happens and it's a real good striker's goal maybe having a shot at goal there but on the move on his way in that's the difference that's why he got there instead of Vorm and he's got himself a goal and he a measure of faith in his ability to bring the best out of Daniel Sturridge Sturridge goes for goal again and forces the save and he's rampant at the moment yeah he's enjoying himself it looked as if it was a difficult thing to do he was out near the corner of the box he looks up puts some really good what they call whiz on the ball there it's curling around keeper has to get up maybe made it look a bit more got away from Vimmer as a result of that Sturridge ahead of him Ajari has got forward too Origi wants to go all the way it seems and he's putting it to Sturridge, who didn't catch it at all cleanly. Yeah, well, here's the, I think, doing so well, that's where this is where it all came from. Inside, deep in his own half, manages to roll the defender, now he's in full flight. He possibly could have played it in a little bit sooner. It looks as if the chance has gone, but he sticks a leg out, and in it comes. It all opens up, and there's a little bit of my think, tried to give the keeper the eyes there, and make it look as if he was bending it into the far corner, and then went for the near. And a, Ran by Trippier and headed over by Vincent Janssen. Well, he wasn't so far away. There was as well done for the cross. But if he just stepped back half a yard, I think he might have been able to get ahead. He just runs in and then all of a sudden it creeps a fraction too much for him. You know, Mignolet was all lost as well, wasn't he? He got himself in a tangle and just somehow jumped a little bit late. Janssen who delivers from the angle. And Mignolet having to be sharp with his reactions then. It's Trippier. And that's beyond Janssen, but almost followed in by Nkudu. Lucas managed to get the block in. Oh, very important block. Really good chip to the far post. Excellent. You can see as it ricochets and makes its way out. That's and let's fly. Good save down low to his left. Got going again, gets himself to the byline, really understands, stands it up so well. That's a real inviting ball to come in, and I think that's on target. Or Away by Vimma. Deep Janssen has come. That's not to call it, but to the referee. 
interception, that's on the Stewarts. Here's Ajaria. Daniel Sturridge. Gruwich with the effort from the angle. It drifts across the face. Yeah, decent. He's a good win back. You can see here, Jim Singh gets, gets in really well there, Stewart, to set the whole thing up. And then it's a matter of who can get the chance, who makes the run. It's Gruwich from an angle. It's not that bad, you know. In the first. Liverpool jointly with Manchester City, the Premier League's leading goal scorers, Tottenham with... It's Trippier! Well, it was dipping, but not just rapidly enough. Yeah, good. He bent around on Kudu, and Rigi delivers, and... ...to set him up for another chance. Look at this precision ball in behind the fullback. He knows that Sturridge will be in front, doesn't even have to look up. You expect him to do a little bit better. The defenders may have put him off in front of him as it whizzes across. Yeah, you'll see it just... He will have seen it, it will have skidded quite hard at him, but in truth, you kind of expect him to do better there, don't you? He's really pleased with the move. By the Serbian, and here's Wijnaldum. Sturridge! Oh, was he impeded as he got to that? In a stride, but... Wonderful skill to take the touch like that. Yeah, he's half grabbed, isn't he? His character Vickers is the guilty one there. Yeah, you can see me. It just half stops when he, he, he pretends. Kudu. Sizes up the opportunity. Straightened up then for Daniel Sturridge. Gruich has made a move into the middle along with Wijnaldum. And it's Wijnaldum who dragged it. the goods. Yeah, out of nothing, that's terrific, that's a real good save, he may have been showboat a little bit earlier, this goalkeeper, but he's had to do real well here. He's looking for things, there's nothing really on, so he lets fly, but it's the, the power on the ball, and the accuracy heading for the, the top corner, and he has to do real well there, as Michelle Bourne, to get across for that. But I know, he's got to want it a little bit more. Spoke about his ability before the game, Jamie's speaking about him at half-time. He's got to impose himself on the game, he should have made his way into the box. Ryan Adams slides it through and the flag stays down, Sturridge could make it too! He does! It's Daniel Sturridge's night and Liverpool are heading to the quarter-finals. Yeah, inevitable that they've got a second and Sturridge has had so many chances, he's been excellent all night. And he gets reward with his second. Well, now does very well here. You can see the breakout to him here, and he gets the pass spot on. That's excellent ball, excellent timing. You can see as the goalkeeper makes his way out, he keeps his composure. He does everything really well. River's the one who stepped up and gets it wrong. And he just does enough then. It's a little bit of a, a cat and mouse game now with the goalkeeper at this point. And he actually gets it through the legs. Still a fairly restrained celebration from Jurgen Klopp, but he'll be delighted with his main man tonight. Sturridge may have missed a handful of chances. Sturridge. Oh, a little bit too high. The form he's in, worth having a go at this. Oh, it's not bad at all, really, is it? Wijnaldum. Of course, it's the save. He does really well here. The way it comes up and down so quick. I mean, he's he's read it quite well, but still have to get something on it to make sure he... Now Onoma. Got him stretching to clear, but it came back off Ajaria. Now he's gone down, and it's a penalty. Just inside the box. John Moss had no hesitation in pointing to the spot, and Janssen steps up with the ball. Yeah, Clavin is in disbelief here. You can see it kind of felt as if there wasn't a lot here. And as he goes there, it's Lucas who reaches out with his right foot. Just watch it here. Yeah, there's a little bit of a... You can see it here. He comes here, right foot of Lucas. It's not a lot really in truth, is it? And John Moss was really quick to go for Spurs, has come from the penalty spot with a chance to score another. He does! Spurs are back in the game in the final quarter of an hour here. Yeah, interesting quarter now coming up, and Janssen gets that goal. 
to wait off the shoulders to get that goal. Referee decided it was a penalty. Personally, I think it was a light challenge that was deemed to be a foul, but there you go, he picks up the barrier. Through to Danny Ings. Sturridge got a deflection and he's hit the bar! Oh, Ali nothing. Short lift back and a little flick. I know it's got a touch on it, but just look a little quick back there. That's terrific effort. Wow, it's so close. Just watch your very little back lift bang comes off the, the shoulder. Danny Ings cleared by Sturridge. When Yama got away from Lucas. Oh, that's good play, wasn't it? Simon Minnell had to. Harrison's free on the far side if he can pick him out. And he has Sean Harrison. Oh, what a big throw, a little better. And in the meantime, Liverpool break. Sturridge. Another half decent effort from Sturridge. But this was the moment. Terrific ball across from Lamella. He sees him, he floats it in there. Mignolet stays put, but poor. Poor in the technique. He's got it really arches back there and oh, knocks him out. He knows that the normal. He tries to switch it to Danny Ings, and Ings could be in here for Liverpool. Denied by Vaughan. Great save again. This is brilliant stuff. Liverpool on the break, ball played over the top. You can see he's underneath it, he can't head it anywhere safe. He reads it brilliantly, ends it, head down, let's fly. Ah, oh, Vaughan does real well again. Good pace on that. Ah, oh, great save. Unlucky for Ings. Oh, nearly back with a bang. Moreno. Why urge to shoot? Does, but it's wide. Four ahead of him. Shaping to shoot himself. Please just punch on it tonight into a quarter final of the competition. His reign goes on and on. He's got this place rocking. For the third year running, Liverpool are in the quarter finals of the League Cup, and it was Daniel Sturridge's night, a miserable figure when he couldn't get on the pitch. At the weekend, he really enjoyed being out there tonight with both goals that have carried Liverpool into the last eight of the EFL Cup. He could have had a hat-trick. In the end, it was a nervous wait for the win because Janssen's penalty controversially awarded gave Spurs hope. Michel Vaughan managed to keep them in the game. They might have got an equaliser. The youngster, Sean Harrison, blew their big moment to draw level when Lamella played a brilliant ball across to him that he couldn't bring under control but Liverpool have inflicted on Spurs their first domestic defeat of the season and their unbeaten run now goes to 10 matches Liverpool Spurs dumped out of the EFL Cup while Liverpool